Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I'm gonna do a, a uh, post battle commentary for Rome Total War. This will be a siege battle. I'll be using the Parthians, so it's interesting that I went with the skirmish army. And my opponent went with the uh, the Romans. We will see his army once the uh, battle actually starts in the replay, but you can see this is uh, the Londinian map. This map is awesome just because it looks awesome. See that? And I like these kind of walls because when you fight on the uh, on those big giant stone walls, it, it's almost like the defender really has like so many possibilities, so many advantages. So if I'm ever a defender, I'll usually make it two to one odds, and I'll only spend half my money. Because people who play two to one and spend all their money—that's not a handicap at all. That's you're giving the other opponents a handicap because they have to divide the money, whereas you have all the money for yourself, and you can dictate the grand strategy for your entire team, which is you. So, when they have attacker, when I'm the attacker, I like to make it interesting. In this case, I'm using a skirmish army. But uh, yeah, the opponent will have a uh, SPQR build. And look at my troops. I got these uh, units of Eastern Infantry, and I'm gonna have them push my battering rams. And I, I, got, I got some spare battering rams in case he burns them out. They have six units of these archers, and then four units of gold gold cataphracts. So that was my setup here. And you know, I uh, I thought about coming down uh, multiple angles, but I decided just to uh, attack one entire long front to divide up his attention. Because if I went all the way out here, I would definitely divide his attention, but I would also divide my attention too. Like, I want a, a concentration of force. So, uh, that is that. I think it's more effective if you just defend the middle here. I mean, actually, it's pretty abusive if you defend like this, <laughs> what he's doing. This is what you call uh, single player tactics. You're basically just gonna bottleneck the, the choke points here. Definitely more effective with uh, with spears in this case, but it's still a pretty abusive technique if the money if the money value is the same. Oh, that's his name. His name's Hicks. So he's got legionary first cohorts. He's got Roman archers. He got triarii, and he also has some urban cohorts. But uh, I was kind of worried about the triarii the most, to be honest, because the core of my army are my cataphracts. So anyways, I'm pushing all of my rams up, and he had all of his guys in flaming mode already. So he burned this ram immediately, so I was like, oh crap. So I immediately raced up my archers to, uh, to do counter missile fire with his archers. So his archers are basically transfixed on my rams, while my archers are transfixed on his archers. So he's losing an awful lot amount of archers targeting my rams. And uh, you can see here he's going to burn this ram over here too. So yeah, that one burns, so I'm going to pull back this unit too. I'm basically pulling back units whenever they lose their rams, and I'm going to pick up my my extra rams. I'm going to push them in. But these guys cut the distance uh, fast enough, so now they can uh, start attacking the the walls here. This one's going right for the gate, this one's going for this wall. So that's going to open uh, two, uh, two breaches into the uh, Londinium wall, so here comes a, another attempt right here. And uh, his the archers. And the battling ram are at the gates. Shut up! Shut up! Now! Shut up! So, uh, the shut up! And the battling ram are at the walls. So yeah. Now oh comes my gosh. the test of their courage. It's testing my patience too. But yeah, look at his archer numbers. They are dwindled hardcore. But I was using a uh, focus fire with my with my archers on his guys. So he might have stopped a lot of my rams, but he lost a lot of uh, missiles in the process. And I got my my cataphracts in reserve. By the way, he does have uh, a reserve unit, and it's his general, and he's actually fighting with the Roman armor general. Way back there, he tried to keep it hidden from me, but if you look at the map, you can see it, the, uh, the little mini-map that they give you when you're playing it live. You're not going to see it in the replay. Like, if you just scan your map, you'll see all the units, unless they're hidden, of course, like by trees. So he, he burned this one too. And I got these units back here in loose formation. As they try to retreat, 
I got them in loose, so they, they took less missile damage. But yeah, I am going to knock this wall down here. Your soldiers have broken through the gate. Now order so, them on Look at all these urbans the here. Enemy. Backed up with Triarii. So yeah, I wanted to uh, open multiple gates so that he would be guessing where my attack was going to come. And that would stretch out his infantry a little bit more. Because right now, they're all just like clustered around my, my two uh, entry points. I didn't like that. So look at his archers. Almost down to nothing. This unit, I didn't target this unit for the longest time though. I targeted them last. But the trick here was to uh, save as many missiles as I could. Because I expected to uh, use my missiles to shoot his infantry from behind. That's why I wanted to save as many missiles. But I had no choice but to bring them up once he started flaming my, my battering rams. So I, I, uh, I drained some of my, my ammo supply. All right, there's another How entry point. The smile upon you. The enemy walls so are now there's two entry points, but I've got this one. These guys are picking up their their third ramp here. They're gonna try it a third time to open another uh, gap in this wall. So look at this. I see that he only has two legionary first cohorts here. There's some units nearby, but this is pretty much gonna be my my entry here. My my main entry, anyways. I would have preferred having multiple entries so he would not know where to go, and then I could scoot my cavalry all over the place, making him guess where I was going to come. But uh, because he burned a lot of my rams, I had to uh, had to use some makeshift tactics, and uh, you will soon see what they were. I already told you this is going to be the main entry point. This one's stacked with urbans, with triarii. This one only has these legionary first cohorts. I'm not gonna make the move until I see him uh, move his guys again. I mean, I could go again, but during the battle, I don't go until he he shuffles his men over here. But look at his archers, completely depleted. Well, mainly depleted. He still has his uh, Roman general back here, just chilling, waiting for the uh, moment to attack, counterattack, flank. Now I'm moving my cataphracts. This is my trump card. These guys. Now these are gold, gold cataphracts here. And look at that, he burned my cataf my, uh, my battering right there. But guess what, this ram, even though I used it already, it still works. It's recyclable. So I will make it a temp later on to do that. So now this is, when I see him uh, moving his guys in one big cluster like this, I, sh I shuffled these guys in first, trying to draw his Pila. He might have uh, threw him already. I wasn't really watching the replay. And I don't recall if he did during the battle. But I see them just right here, and he sees what I'm doing. He's going to uh, send his legionaries and some Triarii down to this side. I got my cataphracts racing in though. So that's why when, I when I'm going to make my move, I'm going to do it at full speed. So I'm going to charge. Look at this guys. No finesse, just charge directly into it. I mean, there's finesse getting here. But once I got in there, it's gonna be all about brute force. Haha, <laughs> remember us from Karhe? I got my, my archers raining fire. Or raining wood, I guess. I will switch to the mace attack. At some point here. But I'm, I'm just playing right through. Now this Triarii were my, were my main concern right now. That they can fight these guys really well, but I, I'm, I'm actually uh, tearing through these guys at the moment. And remember that third, or that, that one ram that I already used. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm going to cause another entry point here. Because right now he's just uh, funneling troops into this one uh, choke point here, and he's gonna launch all these pincer attacks. I'm, I'm throwing in my my Eastern infantry, even though, even though I know they're not good. At least it's something, but they do run the risk of uh, running running away, which could cause a um, cause panic amongst my cataphracts. I had to risk it though. I got more infantry coming up, and I, I moved this ram over to this side. I want to I want to cause a hole here, so maybe I could come in this way. Because right now everything's just pouring onto my one entry point. 
Here I noticed some urbans rushing out by accident. I thought he was targeting my my Eastern Infantry, but he, I don't think he was. So maybe he was, but he gave up. But I'm going to race this Cataphract unit now comes the into this urban courage. as they're out of position right now. This is going to pull back. So, going to make an attack on this second entry point here. Keep these guys tied down. I don't want this uh, section being poured in with more uh, Romans. So here I am right into them. And the archery are right here too, actually. These guys. So I'm going to pour right into them. I'm losing some horses, that's fine. But look at this! I'm actually causing these guys to break. My guys are just battering through with their cataphracts. They've been just pummeling these guys. My guys are tired. They're about 50% strength right now, but they are working their magic and uh, causing uh, mayhem amongst the Roman ranks here. And it's going to be contagious. See that? They even have an, an, a banner right there, a standard, and, and it's, they're still breaking. My Eastern Infantry is rushing in. Got my cataphracts pouring in now. There's all kinds of chaos, even amongst my, my player's moves. He's starting to panic. Now he's moving these guys away from the wall, so I, that's perfect, because now I got this uh, third entry point, which I was going to use this cataphract to pour in through. But I don't think I ever break through that entry point. I mean, I do, but I don't really use it. So look at that. I'm just ripping these guys apart. Look at all these dead Roman bodies. These guys have their backs against the walls. And anyways, these urbans are on the move. His general's on the move now. He sees that I'm not going to get around his uh, walls anywhere, so he's going to use his last reserve unit to come in and try to help out. And my cataphracts have finally, uh, this is my last cataphract unit. They're going to come in here and uh, knock into these uh, urbans from behind. I got all my East Eastern infantry into the... Uh, other side of the walls, these guys finally break. My third entry point is there. All these Romans are retreating. Here comes this uh, Roman commander. These guys are starting to break. This unit came a little too late. She should have used him a little bit sooner. So now I can just gather all my strength and just push these Romans to their deaths. And I got my... Oh, sorry, I had another infantry unit. That's right. The one pushing the battery of course. These guys come in. They tear up some of these Roman archers. I wasn't even targeting them, but because my guys are so close, and because the morale is so crap, they just broke. And there goes the Roman commander, dead. So, some of those units that broke ended up back here, but that's not enough to hold back my Parthian advance, so he is going to admit defeat here. All my troops were victorious. Their soldiers have brought you so I thought it was interesting using a, a skirmish army. The enemy are crushed! In this uh, siege situation. I've done that before, but I haven't played a siege in a long time. It's been ages. Good game to Hicks, though. He has a good sport about it. So look at all these kills my cataphracts got. This one had 290 kills. They gained two experienced units. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this uh, siege battle.